moving on to the next box. So I think I'm gonna do A Court of Candles, which is in this lovely box, and this sucker is taped a lot. I'm gonna need scissors. So I'm gonna cut into this. I think I'm gonna do this one in this video and save Lit Joy Crate for the next one, but I mainly just wanna get into this because I'm already smelling a lot in here. So I am so excited for this one. Oh, there is a box inside of a box. And this is what the true box looks like. This sucker is beautiful. Look at it. I've never ordered from a Court of Candles before, but oh man, this, this is lovely. I am loving this experience. This is a nice box. I'm so excited to get into this. Okay, so obviously this is gonna be candles. Go figure, right? So this is gorgeous i'm loving it oh this is packaged so well so okay so this is what we see when we first open it there's a lovely little tissue that says thank you with their sticker and their little design on it and here is the card i got whatever the high fay option was there were two options i think where you could get like a smaller box or the big one and i was like give me the big one i'm so excited here's a little business card here's their candles i'm not gonna look at it i just want to sniff i'm gonna sniff my way through this box so there's a lot of little squigglies my cat will be so excited for this so i think i'm gonna go in for the oh what's this what is this Okay, this is not a candle. I'm excited. This is in a little tiny pouch. It's a diffuser necklace with fragrance oil. Oh, I love it. I love it already. I'm so excited. Here we go. This is the cutest little tiny bottle. Look at it. It's so teeny tiny. So this is a little bottle of essential oil. It says that this is the heart of the night court diffuser that comes with fragrance oil inspired by the night court with scents of Valaris, a citrus breeze, moonlight, and salty sea air. Oh, oh, I'm so, let me take a sniff of that. Hold on. Well, that smells lovely. I want to smell like Valaris all the time. And it goes in this beautiful stinking necklace oh my god let me untangle it there's a little diffuser right in the center of the moon oh my gosh this is precious this is so cool so it's just kind of a little fuzzball in there that you kind of like saturate with the oils and then you smell like valaris all day long okay so i'm going in for i think the big candles this one has two large and i think six small in it so i'm excited for this let's see this is the first one and I'm gonna preface this obviously by saying that I'm terrible at describing scents. You know this from how the wax melts went. So, be forewarned. So this first one is Frost and Starlight. This is Hazelnuts Chocolate Pine Cones. Oh, I like where this is going. I mean, it's hazelnut and chocolate, so you can't go wrong. So, oh, that smells good. So this one is beautiful. It's blue. It's like a really pale blue and it has silver glitter mixed in with it. So when you burn it, all the glitter goes into the wax and it looks like a galaxy and it has a little quote on it. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. And that one, it really smells, smells very strongly of chocolate. It's a really good mix of chocolate with a slight pine scent, which sounds weird, but it works really well together. We're on to the next larger candle and it is covered in squigglies. So this, everything in here is packaged so well. There is so much bubble wrap. So what is this next one? This is Winter Solstice. This is Crackling Fire, Wine, and Pine. And I love all of her little labels have quotes on them. I'll probably put detailed pictures of these on my Instagram if you would like to check them out. Okay. Ooh, this one is white and like clear glitter. That's lovely. It looks like a lovely snow dusting. Ooh, this one... This one smells like the Yankee Candle Store at holiday time. This smells exactly like every Christmas time candle that you can think of. It's like a very like spicy kind of apple-y wine. That's probably what I'm smelling. This reminds me a lot of those like Yuletide type candles that just kind of smell like all things spicy and Christmassy. And then we have this package in here and this is six little candles and it looks like from what I'm seeing, it looks like it's the inner circle. I'm just seeing character names and I'm so ready for this. Okay, so first one is yellow and that is Morgan and the artwork on this is gorgeous. So this is cherry, citrus, and cinnamon, which sounds wonderful, but just look at that artwork. This is just gorgeous. All of these candles just look amazing. So cherry, citrus, and cinnamon, that sounds great. Oh, it smells great. That's a good, that's a good combination. 
You can smell all three things. I don't know how else to describe it. I smell cherry the most. It's a very slight cinnamon. Like there's a little bit of a spice at the end, but it's mostly cherry and citrus and I love it. Oh, I really like that one. Okay, next one is this lovely wine burgundy color and this is Cassian who is looking very emo in his picture, but it is leather, French vanilla and bamboo. Interesting combo. So let me show you this one. So that is what that one looks like. Look at him. This looks like him during Akafas. As if you read that, you know what I mean. He's feeling down. So let's take a little snifferoo. Hmm, okay. These candles, okay, these candles are spot on with their actual like scents and descriptions. I smell leather, which I'm a horse girl, so I'll love that. So I smell leather and I smell a little bit of like a kind of a smoky French vanilla. Hey guys, so you're probably like, whoa, what's happening? This is the middle of the video. You're right. So the reason that this did not get uploaded on Saturday like it was supposed to, and the reason for the change of outfit, the change of me, this is me a week later from the beginning of this video. As I was going through and editing the last unboxing that you guys watched, this one and the following one, for some reason, the audio just cut out. I don't know what happened. It was mid video. All of a sudden audio is all gone. I was distraught. My face made contact with the keyboard and I walked away from it for a couple days because you can't re unbox things like it's a first impressions video for a reason. So I'm going to continue doing this unboxing. Obviously this has already been done. So this is not first reactions or anything, but I want to let you guys know what is the rest of the stuff that is in this box. And the next one that you'll be seeing is also one that I technically have already unboxed, have already reacted to crazily. Like maybe this is probably for the best because I was kind of like obscenely excited about everything. So maybe I'm more coherent in this now. So, okay, I'm just going to move in. We were in the middle of candles, so let's keep going. We were in the middle of all of the six inner circle characters. I believe I already did Morrigan and Cassian, and the next one is Amran. It's a lovely light gray color that matches her evil, evil eyes. And this one is Grapefruit, Cassis, don't know what that is, and Sidra River. Again, not sure how they scented that, but I'll show you guys the beautiful artwork that is on here. Look at how awesome her eyes look in this. I just love how fierce she looks. I love Amran. She's one of my favorites in the inner circle. And this one, okay, it's been a week since I've smelled these, so let's see if my thoughts have changed. This one smells a little bit fruity, but mostly kind of musty. That's not a great candle describing scent. I think it's one of those scents that I think I'll actually really like burning because you know how candles smell different when you're burning than when you're just sniffing them in the little jar. I think this is one I'll like burning because it's a lighter scent and it's kind of more of like a musky citrus scent. So I think it'll actually translate well to like spreading through my house versus like concentrated right here. The next one I'm pulling out is my favorite of the entire inner circle and that is my baby Asriel. He's so beautiful. This is a lovely dark slate gray color and this is marine, violet, and musk. I don't remember liking this one the first time I smelled it because I don't like super musky scents that are like very masculine smelling. Oh, this one. I actually really like this one. This one just smells like boy. Like this smells like men's cologne. And I actually really like it. It's kind of a piney men's cologne scent. And I actually really enjoy this one. Surprisingly, I did not expect to like it, but I do. There's my baby bat. Look how emotionally fierce he looks because we don't know much about him, but he's so precious. The next one is Resand and it is a lovely purple color because hello, purple, purple eyes. His scent is Midsummer's Night, Black Sea, and Juniper. I don't I don't like this one. My thoughts have not changed. It does not smell great. It's very strong. And in my opinion, sorry Reese, it smells like an old lady. It just reminds me of old people. That's not a scent you really want in a candle, but that's what I smell. So let me show you Reese so you can appreciate the artwork and you can just smell him how you choose to smell him. It's with his super fierce violet eyes. I'm not sure how I actually feel about that rendering of him. It's a little creepy, but I mean, Reese is supposed to be a little creepy also. So that's probably fitting for him. And the last one in there is of course, Feyre, our main home slice. And she is lilac, pear, and ginseng. And this is actually, oh, okay. I'm not a huge fan of this because of how strong it smells, but again, like the 
Amarin one, I think it'll translate well like burning through the house versus just sniffing it right now because it's very strong. It smells very strongly of lilac, which I personally love, but it's a little overpowered with like kind of sweet scent. But let me show you Feyre. And I'm not a huge fan of this artwork. It's beautiful, but it's not how I picture her because she's blonde in this and I don't picture her as blonde. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be more of a like a redhead auburn color, but you can decide as this is gorgeous artwork regardless. Like I just love how it looks. Okay, so those are all of the candles I believe that came in there. So we got the six of the inner circle and the smaller candles and the two larger ones that smell great. I love the two larger ones the necklace with the little diffuser in it. And then in the bottom of the box, there was another layer of goodies, which is just wonderful. It wasn't just candles, there was also merch in it as well. So there was a tube in it in which held this print. And this print is just gorgeous. Like it is so beautiful. Again, Feyre is a little too blonde for my taking, but either way, this is just like the most beautiful print of the two of them ever. I love it. So this is, what it looks like. I just, ugh, I love it. I love it so much. Also, something big at the bottom, which you could choose what you wanted. So originally when this box was listed, you had the option of getting a t-shirt and you just had to choose your size. And then as it was selling, I think they added the option where you could choose between a t-shirt or a tote bag. And me, being the person that I am, I have endless tote bags because I get endless subscription boxes and tote bags are just a thing that they give out. I love me a good tote bag, don't get me wrong. I like having good ones, but you don't get the option for shirts that often because it's kind of harder to get everybody's sizes. So I opted for the shirt and this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie, I will sleep in this like every night. I usually order up a size in t-shirts. I'm a small person, so this is a medium and this is quite large next to, next to me. Like here, here's my side, this is how much room we have left, yeah. So it's a very large shirt, but I will love it and I'll probably sleep in it every night. I might do a little styling and make it cute and tie it up for like bookish events. But either way, I am so excited to have a t-shirt from the series because I adore the series so much. And the last thing that I pulled out of the box was this little bookmark, which is a print that says Fire Made Flesh for our Court of Candles, but it's a print of Nesta and Cassian, which is just like really beautifully done. Like this artist is very skilled. I'm loving it. So that is everything that came in that box. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I hope I didn't freak out by like switching locations and outfits and time periods of filming halfway through. I was extremely discouraged. I'm over it now and I'm just refilming a couple of the unboxings and everything's fine. It's all good. I will see you guys in the next unboxing. I probably will have a couple videos going up in between to break this up a little bit through the next month or however long it takes to get all of these boxes. I will see you guys in the next video.